Good morning, Valley Mills Christian Church. My name is Joe McNeil. I'm the Spiritual Growth Coordinator. Senior Minister Bob Belts invited me to share a word this morning. Normally, I do the Wednesday in the Word, but I'm going to combine it with our 11 a.m. prayer time. So I'm here in my own prayer closet uh, that I use. It's a little nook inside my house that uh, I go to when I uh, want to read or pray to God uh, somewhere quiet without any distractions. Uh, but today I want to read from Psalm 23. It's a very well-known psalm that a lot of people uh, either have memorized or they go to when they're looking for comfort. So let's read from uh, Psalm 23. This is a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, you are great and worthy to be praised. And God, we want to lift up all of the things that are on our hearts right now. We've got a lot of anxiety and fear and doubt and uncertainty and a lot of people that we care for that are hurting right now. God, and we lift that all up to you because we know that nothing is too big or too small for you. God, you hear us when we pray. So we pray for these things. We lift them up knowing full well that you are mighty and amazing and that you will hear our prayers. God, we pray for forgiveness for the things that we've messed up on. Forgive us for our sins. And God, also help us to forgive those that have wronged us in some way. God, let us lift that bitterness up to you so that we no longer have it in our hearts. Help us to be pure. Cleanse us in the blood of Jesus, God. We just pray and we thank you so much for your son, Jesus, who's died on the cross for us, God, who sacrificed himself as a perfect sacrifice to pay for all of the sin debt that we should have taken. God, we just want to thank you for comforting us. We want to thank you for guiding us like a shepherd leads his sheep with a rod and a staff. You guide us, God. Sometimes we need a little direction, and we just pray for that now. We pray for the peace that surpasses all understanding. God, help us to be at peace with how things are, and help us to acknowledge that your will is going to be done on earth as it is in heaven, and we want it that way. We know that you know way better than we could possibly know, so we lift that up to you too. Help us to be at peace with that. Help us to be a light and an encouragement in the darkness. Help us to reach out to those that need it, and God, you know our hearts. Search us. Continue to change and grow in us, God. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a good day.